Hello everyone, good morning and thank you for joining for another episode at Investing with All I See is W. Today I wanted to make this video to share with you certain things that helped improve my life and I wanted to share that with you because I feel like by me being able to give my experience over to you, uh, you can take that information and see how that can improve your life. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing that really helped position myself in terms of growing, not only from a personal level, but from a financial standpoint, was by focusing on myself and allowing for myself to figure out what I enjoy in terms of my hobbies and my skills. And just recently, you know, I've, I've just started picking up, you know, with riding my bicycle again. Uh, I recall as a kid, you know, just riding my bike everywhere with rollerblades and doing all the fun hobbies that I used to do. And just recently now I've been able to get back into the things that I used to enjoy doing. So figuring out what I enjoy and what my skills are in and prioritizing, focusing on myself because it's important for you to focus on yourself, take care of yourself, and then others will then take care of you. And not so much of thinking so much about how others view you and you, sh you base your lifestyle on other people's uh, feelings. Really, it's it should be how you view your life and you make decisions for yourself. And ultimately, anyone that does get on with your, your life you guys make decisions together. Uh, but that's one thing that I wanted to emphasize, the importance of focusing on yourself and establishing what are your, your hobbies and your your skills and capitalizing on that, right? And not letting yourself slip away, focusing on other people's dreams or goals. Because at the end of the day, it's really you driving for your career and your, your own path forward, all right? And the second key thing that has really helped my life is understanding the theory of reciprocation. So for example, anytime when someone provides help to you, you got to be mindful to help out that person in return. That's just the theory of how humans work together. And by supporting another person when they've provided support to you, I feel like that creates a sense of fairness and people like working with those who have a mindful thinking of being able to help when help is received. And for me, I don't even think about like expecting returns if someone helped me. It's more of like when I help someone, I don't expect any returns. So for example, with my, one of my good friends, you know, he's been working on bathroom projects. He's an expert at doing flooring, plumbing, just the whole nine yards of doing remodeling for like bathrooms for example and i've been helping you know do like four or five bathrooms remodeling with him and a part of it is me wanting to learn as well but in terms of returns on expectations i'm not expecting any monetary value or anything like that it's more of you know spending time with my friend helping out my friend and learning and supporting him so that he can finish up the projects so that to me is what i mean by reciprocating just having your friendship there and you're helping your friend and in return, you know, your friend can be there for you in the future if you ever need support. So that's that's what I, I view in terms of the theory of reciprocation. That can take you very far in life from a financial standpoint in your personal life. So that's very important. All right. And the last thing I wanted to, to mention to you is the importance of gratitude. Having a sense of gratitude and eliminating the idea of what's in it for me when you're involved with other people, right? I mean, most people think in terms of, okay, so am I going to gain from a financial standpoint if I work with this person? But the key thing is establishing relationships so that in the long term you develop and grow together by sharing ideas and keeping that guard down and making sure that we benefit on both ends. And that's the key, you know, being able to help others with their problems so that in return, they'll begin to empathize and see what your problems are and that's when the collaborative activities start taking place and that's the the beauty bef behind you know like having friendship and family you know um being able to share ideas without having those those guards in place and thinking so much about what people think about you just let your guard down 
have the gratitude, have a sense of helping others, have a sense of focusing on yourself as well, knowing what your skills and your hobbies are and establishing those key things that you're good at. And most importantly, understanding, you know, when someone helps you, have that helping hand and help in return. That can take you uh, very far in life. And I feel like these are the things that has really helped me shape to grow with not only an altruistic mindset by thinking beyond with the holistic approach, but I feel like I've also learned how to to learn to become a servant leader by being able to help others and not so much of helping myself. But my goal in life is to be able to share, provide the information I know and create a legacy before my time is up here. All right, so those are some of the key uh, highlights I wanted to mention to you today from my video. And it's more of, you know, personal growth, how you can develop yourself, your branding, and what can you do to to grow and not only from a financial standpoint but more of an empathizing standpoint how you can contribute to the world not from finances but helping others out and creating that community so you can add value to uh, the lives of not only you but for your family and your friends and those who are more in need than than us who have the the wants but that's not to say that we didn't grow from from the hardship and then getting it to where we are today. But wanted to share that among the whole entire community to say that, hey, we're in it for everyone and let's do this together. So that's the reason why I wanted to create this video is to add value and not just in the personal finance side, but for personal growth. All right, so thank you for watching another episode at Investing with All I See is W. Thank you.